Okay, everyone, we're about to take a first look at Windjammers 2. We are playing on the Nintendo Switch. Full disclosure, this is a review copy provided by the publisher. This dropped like last week. We're playing this on the 25th of the 1st, 2022. So this is going to be our first big game of the year we're covering. Published by Dot Emu. I want to say of Streets of Rage 4 fame. Uh, but just remember, like, Dot Emu is just a publisher. Um, they've got many developers who they publish for. So it's not anything to do with the streets of rage for people that was a different developer it's just the same publisher um but you know they're gonna they're gonna be known for that because that was such a big release for them like was it last year now anyway if you don't know what um Wind of jammers 2 is they did a better for this the, the longest time this has been on everybody's radar for ages for it to come out wind jammers 1 was a neo geo cult classic uh it became super famous uh, and well known after the fact because when the Neo Geo originally came out, it was one of the most expensive consoles of all time. So, you know, it sold terribly because it was that expensive. So it's hard to get games on. It's only like when uh, like collections of video games started to come out and a few uh, well known sites and all that started to play this. And this was like big at Evo at side tournaments. This is why this became more well known. Um, so, yeah, this is the follow up to Windjammers 1. If you don't want this, is basic principle is imagine like you got like old school pong style tennis games or uh frisbee games um so you got a, a person on each side and you just gotta throw something and trying to score a goal is like the simple concept of it um so yeah they uh, this is a follow-up to that if we um and it's released on everything basically uh it's got some interesting settings here of like uh display ping and input delay uh, like I was saying, they did a better test for this. Like, it seems like a year ago almost now. So this is just like an evolution of that first game. Um, there is a... There is a tutorial here, how to play. But it's uh, it's very... like My first... Four, I've played this for about 20 minutes off stream. I haven't put a lot of time into this. I'm going to do like a first look, first look um because you know i've played the original and i played a bit of the better they haven't really changed much up here there's like a couple of new moves but it's still wind jam wind jammers at its core you know um the like first thing i would say off the bat though is this this needs more stuff it needs more content you know uh this we play a lot of fighting games here this game this game became big between like the fighting game community and the multiplayer community and um you know people just like to verse verse themselves so this game really shines if you're playing with people like couch co-op or you're playing with online um but like you know how we talk about fighting games and i'm like with fighting games oh i don't care if it's got a story mode and this and that i just come for online play i guess people could make the same argument for this if you're like if that's what the core community wants that's what is here um but like i like this is like a, a bit of a simple game and if you like if you're not going to play online, there's not a lot here. So, like, the reason I was going to talk about how to play, even, like, the how to play stuff is just literally, it's just, like, text. not te It's, like, images, you know? It doesn't give you a proper training mode or anything like that. Um, and then you've got, like, an arcade mode, uh, you know, where it's just a map and you select matches. Or you've got, like, a versus where you can play through versus couch co-op where you can play a computer. And then it's got online, you know? So, it is very bare bones. That's the only thing I can say off from the start. So if you don't like the core concept of this game uh, and you haven't got people to online to play with, I'm like, this is kind of sparse. Uh, so if we quickly go how to play, we could check out some of the new stuff. From what I remember, because I haven't played Windjammers 1 in ages. Uh, like one of the first new thing they've introduced here is like a jump button. Um, and you can now catch... Um, you can catch the frisbee uh like while you're jumping so all right so let's go so uh, hold on hold on um so basics move you can use d-pad you can use analog stick um slide it's still got the slide that you can use the direction and press b to slide that's not new here jump I, i'm unless i'm misremembering and i'm playing it i think this is new right Somebody's probably gonna one of the hardcore wind jammers, but is probably gonna correct me. I think this is new here. Um, straight shot, uh, face anywhere in your forward direction in these angles. You could do a straight shot, uh, lob shot. This is still the same. Um, 
and then curve shot so this is a little bit better than the original though because the original you'd have to go online and figure this out there wasn't a tutorial there to say oh this is how you do the moves right because the original was a pure arcade game so this is still good here but like training mode would be nice here so if you half circle uh, half circle up or half circle start from back and b you could do a curve shot um toss so here uh, here just before catching the disc okay if you press b you can do a toss so it, it goes up into the sky got it um while in the air any direction b a or x you can do a smash okay drop shot before catching the disc press a okay slap shot before catching the disc y all right power toss a and b when uh receiving the disc and when the power gauge is fully charged press a and b uh I, this is new also right um press a and b and r that's how you do a power toss when receiving the disc when power gauge is full uh power disc with the disc in hand when the power gauge is fully charged press a and b or r oh, i think that's trying to say or r uh not three buttons together so that's like a super gauge basically um advance stay under the disc on the crosshair to start charging when it when you press b and hit the disc into the sky if you're under it you you'll charge it's saying there super custom shot when fully charged press b that's confusing to me uh super lob when fully charged press a uh super spin i think that is just saying what when you're charged if you do any of these moves you'll do the super version when fully charged super spin roll smash when fully charged while in the air jump and then any of that and you do a roll smash so the, i'll show you that when we get in uh, just after catching a super shot from the opponent, so that's if they're fully charged, uh, you could press A, B, or the half circle moves. Um, is that it? Is that what we got? Ah, oh, I thought it was more. Okay. That's it. That's the game. So if we go, where should we start with? We just go straight into arcade just so i can show you what it is here don't judge me i'm gonna play on easy because it's hard to talk and play so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten characters here and i saw this comment somewhere else so i'm gonna repeat here as well but for representation this game is kind of weak it's basically nine uh caucasians here and an african-american the brazilian white the japanese person white like look does that look like a Japanese avatar to you? The French person, white. The British person, white. The Italian, white. The Spanish person, white. The German, white. Well, obviously, a lot of these will make sense because European countries. Uh, uh, the Chinese person, white. The Canadian, white. The American, black. So, uh, I saw some comments online where people side eyeing the hell of the, out of this. And then I went in and looked and I was like, oh, you know what? Then, then probably they're like super, right? Like him comes out in 2022. Yeah, you know, just for a point out. Um, I mean, the avatar that we're seeing here for the African American is kind of mm -mm as well. Um, so another thing I should point out is obviously you got ten characters and you got a couple of stages. Each stage has a different uh, like look to it, right? You got glass, glass, grass, clay. You know, uh, it's just it's just different uh, looks. I don't think gameplay wise it affects so much. So if I do the dash, uh, that's the dash there. If it help you to catch the. Three 
Uh, so five is in the middle, three is on the sides, and that's it. That's basically the game. Uh, and then you know it has, it hasn't got a lot of extra modes. Like one, you can now understand like why this game is like big. Oh no! Uh, why this game is big between the fighting game community, right? It's like a very versus orientated game. Um, that's like my super shot. You can again, you could do it with A, B, O, or you can do it with R. Each character has this, like, either they're faster or they do more power. Here we go. Three points. Trick to you. Three points. All right, I want to say that's because that's uneasy. I mean, I could Three talk points. mad smack right now. As soon as I go online, get destroyed. I don't want to do it. Oh, and then he dropped it. Okay. It said press B just before we catch the hit up in the sky, right? Here we go. Uh oh. Here we go. Side I like this. So, you know, it's like those early style Pong games or that, like the concept is very simple, right? A couple of years ago on PS Plus, we got like a disc pro game that borrowed a lot from this. Very simple concept. Uh, adds a few more moves to that whole, you know, Pong style, but it's like weirdly super fun and addictive. Not when you're getting destroyed online. Um, but yeah, this this game definitely uh, is at its best when you're playing with people. Three points. Three points. So if they're gonna add stuff down the line, this is like one thing I would Three like to see. Points. I mean, but then the question could be like, what more could you really add to this, right? Uh, there is like a little mini game where you can hatch in loads of frisbees that again thrown at you when you're playing arcade, but like, Next round. our style looks very nice though. Music's cool. That goes, why does the Canadian look American? I'm going to say like eight of these, nine of these characters all look very similar. That's my hot take from this. Round two. Five points. Was it B just before you catch it? Oh, I should show you the jump shot thing. Hold on. It's very, uh oh, it's kind of difficult to do. All right, we'll lose a few points just so I can show off. And then I missed the actual shot. It is a uh, like kind of super lenient. You don't have to, like sometimes I slide in and I'm like, oh, I should have totally missed that frisbee and it still catches it. So it seems like your hitboxes for your frisbee are kind of generous, which I don't mind because it would be really annoying if, it, if you have to be right on the disc. What was up? Gotcha. Wow. I'm impressed by myself, chat. I was like, that was done. Obviously, each character has their own special and what they do from it. Tricked me. Some of these levels obviously have the, the pads in the middle, so it deflects weirdly. So certain levels can get way more challenging.
I'm, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get the jump shot in. I, I would assume like with the jump shot stuff, like you know, if, I don't know if anybody's played volleyball here. I just play a lot of volleyball, you know, or beach volleyball, whatever. You got the spike right, so that's what they're trying to do with that. How you like me now? I'm scared, chat. Where's it going? Oh, no! How did I let that? Three points. So there's a bit when that animation effect happens, like when you do the super slams with your specials. And it freezes a little bit. I don't know if that's frame drops or I don't know if that's a that's the effect and the look is going for. It doesn't feel like it's frame drops. I feel like it's the effect that they're going for that it stops. Uh, game feels pretty good on Switch. Um, it's actually on Game Pass as well. Day one free, which is cool. I think this is one of the mini. Yeah, here's one of the mini games I was talking about. Kind of reminds you of the whole, uh, obviously not hitting barrels, but you know, if you was playing Street Fire, like halfway through arcade mode, you'd get like a barrel, barrel game. You know, even though I'm saying there's it, like, it's kind of sparse for modes and stuff, what really could you do? But it still would be nice to see something, right? Because at the moment, this game is like, if you haven't got nobody to play with and you haven't got online, uh, you might have border this pretty quick. This is very multiplayer focused. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Actually, move on this one. That's cool. I really want to get the jump shot in. kept the text exactly the same of the like the round set stuff i read it like to most people that don't matter but that's just, just so much nostalgia that seems so much like neo geo text what was that the set text for you know what set you're on which is cool For more love shots. Oh man, it. How? Why? How? <laughs> Why? Those music kind of reminds them of Jet Set Radio style. I mean, that's the kind of style is going for, right? 
Alright, give me my run back. Really? Okay. Three points. Three points. Sneaky. Five points. I gotta stop doing the slide. Set. Like it lets you let let you cover a lot of ground. Fast also hatches everything on on your way sliding. That's why I tend to use it a lot. Oh, I take those five. Also, I got to stop going for the curve shot. I should just go for the straight. Ooh. Oh, no. I can't believe I did that. I thought I got it through. What a waste of a super. Going to the wire and then he got five. No. Game set. Oh, have I got zero credits left? Oh, can, I have? Okay. Uh, can we change character like midway through? No. Okay, let's go to Clay. I'm struggling with those post moving. like that shot. Same shot again and let's go. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Concentration is real. Three points. After made the speech, that happened. Three points. Have we learned nothing from playing Dark Souls? Never smack talk your opponent. Three points. Classic tennis style. You get to the. You get to the middle. You go for that quick shot. Oh, that was easy. Wow. Okay. I guess I really am struggling a lot with the moving posts with the dude with the mullet. Weasel.
I'm gonna jump out after this. We'll, che we'll check out another character and then we'll check out some of the other levels. I like this ring level. It's cool. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. I guess this avatar, this his his avatar looks way more. Bland than he actually looks in game. Miss four points. Come on. Three points. My opponent, I mean. Come on. Three points. All right. Oh, oh, we did it. I'm so proud of myself, chat. Like three slides in the wrong direction. I want to go by. Three points. Five points. It'd be interesting if you could, um, like while you're holding the frisbee, do a jump shot. Then that would add another layer to it there to it so at the moment is when you you got to capture it with the jump to do, be able to do the jump You can choose like not to use your super because then all your shots will be powered up for a while. Three points. Come on. Watch. Oh, I missed it. Five points. The what comeback. Let's go. Reckon that they're harking back to like Street Fire 2. The avatar looks beat up after you win the round. Chat is going, what's the point of rope in the middle? I think that level is, um, that level is, uh, just like nothing. Or that rope in the middle is just a rope. All right, what's the mini game here? Oh, I'm controlling the dog? Okay, okay, I see. That's, that's a fun little mini game. All right, should we back out? Yes, let's back out because, you know, so that's the arcade and then you got versus and versus you can play couch co-op or you can, uh, you know, set time, set points. Uh, let's go. What's the default? 90 set points 15 winning sets two cpu level all right if we put the cpu like soup all right you know what? let's go fully i'm kind of curious okay so let's pick but we went with power there let's pick speed and then just so we can get an easy Opposite W. We haven't seen the Canadian. Have we seen the Canadian yet? Uh, here's the levels: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, uh, beach casino clay lawn. I don't think we've seen lawn yet, right? 
Uh, levels are cool. We've seen junkyard. Have we seen casino? Oh, okay. This is out there. Oh, this character feels so much faster. Hard to control it so fast. Oh my days! Canadian laying up. That's an interesting way to design the Canadian, though. Not to be fiest out here or anything. Do you really see like overweight Canadians? I'm not saying they're not, but is that like a, a stereotype that is put on them a lot? Okay, I'm a, I'm a boomer, okay? The only thing I want to see Canadians is like Mounties, okay? Do South, great series. I was actually looking at Paul Gross. I think that's his name, Paul Gross, the other day. Oh, what is he doing these days? Wow. Oh my god, okay, at least we're getting some good footage here, right? I'm getting destroyed. I've tried to do a jump shot. Ah, that jump shot is like hard to get in. Alright, have we seen what the characters haven't we seen? Have we seen the Italian? Forza. Go here, ah. let's go here, and then... I don't think we've seen Arena and Lawn? Colon. Oh, actually, maybe we did see Lawn. I wonder if everybody's gonna want to play on the levels with like nothing in the middle just to play pure air quotes wind jammers. Well, as, also, as you can see, I'm very bad at wind jammers. We didn't have locals for wind jammers, okay? I had locals for tech and street fire. I wonder if uh, it becoming good in the FGC competition scene as side tournaments. If that happened like re more recently in the last like 10 years. Because that's when I started to hear about it. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I heard about it. That happened like 20 years ago. I mean, with emulation and everything, though, it would probably be easier to do tournaments of this, right? Who's going to lug around a Neo Geo? When I say lug around, I mean, like, who's going to own a Neo Geo and the game? I knew nobody. I, actually, you know what I'm going to play? I, I don't know a single person in Britain that owned a Neo Geo. Oh, I got dazed. I'm gonna put it to my Twitch chat and my YouTube community. Anybody know anybody with a Neo Geo? The first time I seen this game, I there was on. Stuff is happening. I'm gonna jump shot. Oh, I shouldn't have done the jump shot. First time I seen this, I there might have been on a collection. Or might have been on emulation. Um, okay, I'm gonna blame it on the character. Yeah. Yeah.
Auto music though. I need to know how to do the uh, the spin shots from the floor. Uh, you know, it goes. What do you call it? Like the I'm getting lots of words. Um, the yo-yo style, you know. That there, or maybe there's only certain characters. Again, the training mode is very similar to the original, but like, you know, it's 2022. We could have got a mode for it. Just so I can try out my shots. It would be nice. Destroyed. Actually, wait, I'm gonna have to take that comment back. Somebody in my chat saying they uh, they remember playing in Neo Geo. Wow, I'm watching a shot. I don't think I've ever seen a Neo Geo in real life. I've seen on video and stuff, I actually like held up one. Oh. I guess they'll be way more expensive now. Even as to collect and stuff, there was a phase like, um, like obviously everything video gaming is like super expensive now, uh, but like they were expensive in the 90s and it was expensive like 2000 and then they like dropped in price massively. And then obviously, over the last like seven years, they've like climbed up crazy high again, so that was like. Between like 2000 and 2008 was the time to get them because they weren't that expensive. They were pretty expensive. They weren't that expensive, but now they've just gone like even crazier now um, than when they were in the 90s. Um, so we should have RK, we should have versus. Should we do. How long has this video been going on for? We do. Um, let's just quickly show off online. I'm trying to avoid it so I don't get destroyed. And then there'll be a longer video up on Twitch. So there's leaderboards, there's online stats, play with a friend, probably your friends list, quick match, rank match. We do, you know what, you know what? There's not many game modes as well, even online. I guess that's an easy thing they can do, right? Like different styles of play online. Duos, I don't know if they can add duos to this. Uh, I'm, Oh, this feels laggy already. I, I I could be dreaming this. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it was crossplay. Three points. Two hundred ping up there in the top. I'm gonna say this feels a little bit rough. Let's go, Mark. It's great that they put this on Game Pass, though, because, again, this is a game that you need an active community around, right? This is just feels so much more fun playing against with real people because there's not a lot here. Uh, this is a smart thing, to be, smart thing to be on Game Pass. Because it needs the player base. Oh! Oh! I want to see if anybody going for those jump shots. I gotta not do the angle shot when I'm doing my super. It's such a bad habit. Oh, you hate to see it, Mark. Can't believe it. Don't talk shit. That's what, that's that's what the lesson that is being taught here. Wow, nice. 
I'm scared. Oh, so with the with there, can you do a jump shot? I thought you couldn't. Learning stuff as we go, aren't you? I'm blaming your lag, okay? I want to get another match because I want to see how good it feels with this lag. All right, everybody seems to be picking French lady, maybe. So yeah, I I totally got that wrong. Is not it, the I think I might have tested the the Xbox version. The Xbox version is the only one with crossplay. Oh wait. Oh, now I'm on the wrong other side. I um. What? Okay, that happened. Uh, yeah, the Xbox version has crossplay with PC. I think that's what, uh, when the beginning of this video I was like, oh, I sh I'm sure I saw the option in the menu. I think I might have saw it in that version. Uh, unfortunately, the PlayStation. The PlayStation 4 version can play with the PlayStation 5. And uh, so they, they're locked to their own ecosystem and the Switch is just the Switch, basically. And I feel like a lot, uh, even if you look at the reviews and stuff, everybody's reviewing this on the Switch. This game just fits nicely on the Switch. A lot of indie games do like super, super well on the Switch. Uh, so it's a shame that that's the only version. This guy's smart with his... Um, No. Yeah, if you if you get the Game Pass version, then that's crossplay with PC. All right, I need to know how to do that. What? Why did that? I, I don't. I don't. I. I. Uh, this is so bad. Ping's great. Match feels great. At least that yes. proves though, right? You know, everybody on Switch hasn't got a bad internet connection. Can I get a run back with this guy? I was in the middle of talking. So yeah, that's unfortunate. That we don't know in the future if uh, if it's gonna get more, if it's gonna get crossplay. Uh, for the moment, there's only Xbox PC. I know day one, um, I saw people having problems with the PC, Xbox crossplay stuff. I wanted to hold off a few days to cover it because uh, I was like, oh, you know, day one woes. But obviously, with the. That's the only version that has. Oh, come on! That's the only version that has crossplay. I guess I didn't need to wait. Yeah. Got him! Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Five points. Five points. Five points. Does my super carry over to the next yeah, set? I'm curious. Oh, it does. Okay. Three points. I swear I jumped somewhere there. And again. Three points. Five points. I love that reverse spin shot. It's so sneaky. What video game? Something's happening. Oh. Here we go. Three points. 
I'm disappointed in myself. No! Oh, that was so good. GG. Wow. Brilliant. You know, I have to, I have to, I have to clap. That was very smart. All right, win, lose, draw, we'll do one more. Uh, then we'll do a short video for YouTube on that. We'll probably play for about 45 minutes more. Uh, over on Twitch, so if you want to see that longer video, we'll just probably just do it online games. Surprised, uh, it seems to be pr running pretty well on Switch. We know how famously bad Switch Online is. Uh, had that one game where it was like in somewhere near the 200 things. But uh most of these between being being between 50 and 70 feels pretty good it'll be interesting because it hasn't got full cross play right it'll be, it'll be interesting to see where where this is mainly selling the most because i would say that's where you should buy it right how how did that happen how Really though, I don't know about right. No. I gotta get really good at drop shots on lobs. That everybody seems to be beating me. I was we was to both too close to the to the center. Just take my money and go. Trying to aim for the five. Three points. Drop shot. Three points. The delayed. Three points. Ooh, right beside you. The comeback is real. Remember our first rule: don't smack talk early. Oh, we let's go. You thought it was over, ladies and gentlemen? Huh? 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take the points. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I, the only reason I'm going is because I know it's one war. We. I gotta do an outro for the YouTube video. I swear to God, I would have given the run, but hopefully we can run into it again. You probably find out if we do it over on the Twitch video. Yeah. Um. Man, like, uh, we, we spent like half an hour playing like arcade and versus, which is fine. But uh, that just goes to show you we added a couple of matches in at the end. There, this really this game comes in into its own when you're playing against other people. Uh, it's just so much more fun. So, I you know, it's a great successor to Windjammers One. Looks great, plays great. Um. But yeah, I was wrong about the crossplay stuff once again. Um, we we'll do final thoughts here. Uh, only PC and Xbox is crossplay. The other versions are not crossplay. Uh, so if you if you do want to get this, uh, probably I, I don't know how you find out sales figures and stuff, but find out which version sold. Like if you're pri privileged enough to own multiple consoles, right? Uh, find out which version is selling the best, and then go for that one uh because this is primarily online game either couch court game or online game if you're going to be playing this yourself as you can clearly see here kind of limited in modes so um that's my one caveat with this looks great plays great but make sure you have somebody to play with 
uh, or, or if, you know, make sure you have an online subscription um, and you have people to play with online. Because I think if you play this just by yourself, you're going to get bored very quick. Um, other than that, though, yeah, there you have it. That was a first look at Windjammers 2. You're playing on Nintendo Switch, full disclosure review copy provided by the publisher. Uh, if you like this video, drop a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Did you play the original? Did you own a Neo Geo? Would you, you know, was you one of those that own a Neo Geo? Um, don't forget, we stream a couple times a week over on Twitch. Got a community Discord, and I post on Twitter all that time, all the time. All that information will be in the description. Come check us out. Uh, speaking of uh, Twitch, there'll be a longer video up up, up there, higher bit rate version, uh, version of the video up there. Also, is when you. Uh, Send these videos over to YouTube. The compression is terrible. So if you want to see a uh, higher bitrate version, that'll be over there. We're also going to be probably playing for a little while more where we get more online games in. Uh, so if you're interested, come check us out there. Other than that, we're going to call it this one. Uh, follow, like, subscribe, turn those notification bells on so you do know when new videos drop. And I'll catch you next time. Much love. Peace. <laughs>